Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the most effective way to stand up and fish from your kayak or paddleboard. Now, the biggest thing that I see people having problems with is transitioning from actually paddling while you're standing up to grabbing your rod and casting. Now, there's a simple trick to solve that problem, and it's to have some sort of device on your belt that will hold your paddle in place. And then you can quickly put your paddle down and switch to your rod. So I'll just demonstrate that really quick. You can see I'm stand up paddling here. And as with positioning when you're fishing from a kayak, especially standing up, you always want to be facing in the direction that you want to cast. So we're just working the shoreline here. And let's say I want to make a cast right by this point. I can quickly just put the paddle down in the paddle holster grab my rod and make a cast and it's also very quiet especially if you're out on the flats where it's very shallow and you want to be pretty stealthy so just a quick tip there as far as quickly transitioning from paddling to casting so that was a pretty slow demonstration actually so let me go ahead and uh, speed it up a little bit so let's say I'm moving along here keeping an eye out for any movement just moving around I'm not seeing any movement but let's say I just saw something move here quickly put the paddle down grab the rod cast and that was all within maybe three to five seconds if that so if I didn't have this little holster here it's homemade PVC pipe but if I didn't have an easy way to switch like that, you can see how inefficient and noisy it can be. So again, let's just say here, stand up paddling. Let's say I see a fish up here. You have to put your paddle down quietly and then grab your rod. And by the time you look back up, you might have lost track of where that fish was because you have to look down to see where you're putting your paddle. If not, you're going to make a bunch of noise or you might drop your paddle in the water. So if you don't have something to put your paddle on that keeps it within arm's reach where you don't have to look down, very efficient when you are stand up fishing from a kayak or a paddleboard. So this is what I use here. This is just an old belt that I had and I actually made this out of PVC pipe, a very thin PVC pipe that way you can heat it up and mold it. And this piece right here pretty much just heated it up and flattened it out and cut it into a little rectangle. And then this piece here is just a piece of PVC pipe with the very top end cut off. And then the paddle sits right in there. I believe this is an inch and a quarter. So it's perfect size for a paddle to rest in there without, without uh, falling out. And also use a stainless steel bolt and a screw there, just one, so that it can pivot there so your paddle so because when you put your paddle in it's going to want to dip down so that's why i only put one screw in there now one last addition i made to the kayak to make this more efficient was as you see up on the front of the kayak here i installed a bungee pretty much as a paddle park that way i can slide my paddle in there and it doesn't fall off the side of the kayak it keeps it in place and then i can put it into the holster that's on my belt and it keeps that paddle there nice and secure because if you don't have something there the paddle might slide off to the side and make a bunch of noise and fall in the water so have something up front small bungee cord to park your paddle or you can put your net up front and then lay uh, the paddle onto the net that is usually keep it in place too if you have a rubber net but always have something up front just to keep that paddle in place so that will wrap up this video on the most effective way to stand up and fish from your kayak or paddleboard. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, if you have any additional tips you would like to share uh, for stand up fishing from a kayak or paddleboard, definitely let us know. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.